All right. In this video, we are going to add some variation to our procedural generator instead of creating the same ground tile over and over again. So to do that, I'm going to click on Content Browser and then over here, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this BP Ramp Up Tile. Duplicate it again and this one I'm going to call DP Ramp Down Tile. I'm going to open one of these. In the viewport, I'm just going to delete these two, the two walls. And then I'm going to click on Add under Components and then type Static Mesh. I'm going to call this Ramp. And in the Details panel, we have this option called Static Mesh. Click on this drop down menu and type Ramp. And if you had selected the extra starter content, while selecting a project template, then you will have this option with you. So select it and then I'm going to rotate it. And now I'm going to use this ground tile over here, this ground as a reference so that we can properly scale this ramp. So I'm going to click on this perspective and then select top. Switch the view to lit and in here, I'm going to place the ramp precisely at the location and then I'm going to scale it. And then back in the perspective view. So I'm going to scale the ramp with these values. I'm also going to rotate the ramp so that it's downward sloping as this is a ramp down tile. Then we are going to align the ramp with the ground mesh so that everything looks uniform and works properly when we begin procedurally generating them. Now I'm going to set the box collision slightly around here. I can again have the perspective in the left side so I can align this properly. You can delete the ground tile after you're done with it. Again, make sure that the arrow is properly aligned. And I have something very important to tell. In the top view, this point over here where the green line and the red line are intersecting, this is known as the blueprint origin. And this is very important to keep in mind because we are spawning the blueprint and not the mesh. And whenever you are spawning a blueprint, it's going to use the blueprint origin. So if you want to have no gaps in between the meshes that you are spawning using the blueprints, then you have to align the mesh that you have created over here exactly at this location so there are no gaps over there so I'm going to drag the ramp at this location and make sure that it's properly aligned once you've done that you can go do the same case with these two over here under ramp down tile make sure to move these ramps downward and then align this ramp the top part of it correctly with this point over here of the blueprint origin and then align the box collider and the arrow and that's it it don't compile and then in the ramp up tile I'm going to double select it and do the same thing as we have done for BP RAM down tile. I'm going to put the same parameters, the same scaling values, so that the RAMs are uniform. Compile it. Go to the content browser. I'm going to open the third person game mode. And in here, I'm going to the add ground tile function that we have created. And I'm going to right click on the class input node of the spawn actor. So I'm going to promote it. So you can disconnect nodes by pressing the Alt plus left mouse button. I'm going to drag these out and over to the details panel. I'm going to click on this icon over here, this drop down icon. And in here you can select the variable type to be an array. So this will show a pop-up warning and you can just select change variable type. After that, close this. So I'm going to rename this as Tile Array. 
and then from here I'm going to drag out and type git and again I'm going to drag from the tile array and then type git last index from the return value of the last index I'm going to drag this and then I'm going to type random integer from range disconnect this connection over here and then reconnect this return value to the max value in the random integer in range and then connect the return value over to the get and then connect this back over to class now i'm going to select on tile array and over here we have to first compile this and it will show this warning over here and the reason it shows this warning is because previously we have set the class of the spawn actor as bp ground tile but right now we are not doing that and hence the warning over here you can easily fix this by just disconnecting the execution flow over here drag this out and then type cast to bp ground tile connect the return value to object connect the execution flow and as bp ground tile to target compile again and the error is gone now that we have compiled it over the default value we now have some options to add array elements into our tile array so click on this plus icon under details and then on this draw down menu click it and then type bp ground tile now if you were to move this you know line over here you'll be able to see that the bp ground tile is properly selected or not click on add element again and this time i'm going to select bp ramp and again the same for bp ramp down to it now over here we need to drag from cast field and then type cast to bp ramp up tile over from the return value of spawn actor i'm going to drag it and then select a reroute node and then use this to connect to object a reroute node is actually a node that is used to organize how these wires are being connected to the different nodes so it doesn't look very confusing when you are looking at this blueprints so again we are going to do the same as we had done over here get the arrow transform and apply that arrow transform over to the new arrow transform so type get arrow transform make sure to connect the bb ramp up tile to target and you can just copy and paste this over here now we want to do the same thing again from the cast field of bp ramp up tile i'm going to type bp ramp down tile again from the reroute node i'm going to drag and type another reroute node and connect these two together and again do the same again for both the get arrow transform and the new arrow transform and that's it for the logic i'm just going to organize this a bit and then come back i have organized all the nodes so that they're more easier to read and now compile the code and then run the game and you can see the procedural generator is working fine all the levels are being properly generated and there are no unnecessary gaps being formed with this there are some more variations to our game i'm going to go over to the ramp down tile and select on the ramp and in here i'm going to choose the same material as we are selected over here and the same case with the ramp up tile so again running the game and now we have more variation on our procedural generator so it isn't looking as bland as it was before so yeah thanks for watching and see you later bye